run. Just run. Welcome to the Ad Show. Right, we are back on, and I've got to change this uh, setting here. Effects, filters, chroma key, OK. Get that similarity up, boys. No one likes similarity on 400. Get it up to 425. It'll do. There's a bit of weirdness on the top of my hair, but it'll do. It'll do, lads. We don't go for perfection on this channel because perfection is an unreal ideal. Oh, unreal ideal. Oh, that sounds cool. Anyway, yeah, but it is an unreal ideal. So we just go for good or great, not not perfection. Anyway, let's go. So uh, basically the gist of it is I went to my bank. My bank manager told me I'd got a quid in my account. And I thought, right, I need to follow what the big YouTubers are doing. And I need to get me some serious views so I can get that quid up to maybe 50 quid or 100 quid. So... Uh, yeah, we're going to do a tier maker list. Now, if you don't know what these are, essentially the big YouTubers go in and they rank things from good to bad based in a specific field. So they might rank other YouTubers, uh, they might rank certain products or something or uh, a plethora of different products or whatever it may be. But that's the basis. So I thought the big YouTubers, they know what they're doing. So I really should follow what they do. So we're going to do a ranking on tier maker, tier list thingy, whatever it's called. On UK charity shop. Yes, boys. I know what you're saying. Um, what are you actually going to rank them on? Well, I'm going to rank them over three things. This is price, stock availability, and stock quality. So just to clarify what they mean. So price, obviously, I'm going to be ranking on uh, who's got the best prices, i.e. the lowest prices, because obviously I'm going to be doing this list as a reseller, not as a member of the public. So I'm going to be biased towards these charity shops in the form of me being a reseller and uh, the kind of characteristics that go along with uh, positively what I think of a charity shop based on reselling and being a reseller. So that's price. Uh, stock availability is essentially how often they're turning the stock over, how much stock they've got on hand at the charity shops. So maybe certain charity shops might not have as much stock or they might not have as much turnover. And that's another thing we're going to be ranking on. And the last one is going to be stock quality. So obviously that means are there like really good quality items there? Are there higher value items in those charity shops? And obviously they all into relate together because obviously you could have a charity shop that has loads of really quality items but their, their pricing is really really high so then it kind of they counteract each other and interrelate in that way so what we're going to do is we're going to rank all these based on those this is going to be a subjective ranking so when i start putting you know oxfam or british heart foundation in the god tier don't have a go at me in the comments because it's subjective but no i'm not going to put cancer uh, british heart or oxfam in the god tier anyway so don't worry we're safe um so basically we've got god good me uh bad and badder now the me is it isn't like me it's like me like that so it's just like you know in the middle it's not a me it's not a real it's not a bad thing it's just in the middle that me me you know me you know me i can take it a leap me i can take it a you know what i mean that sort of stuff anyway so let's start cancer research being the first one now for me personally the pricing on the clothing specifically seems a little bit high on the hard goods it seems okay it seems fair the um stock availability seems from you know for for all i've kind of seen in my local one seems pretty decent they turn it over okay it's fairly regular turnover in fact it's probably one of the best um turnovers from most of the charity shops that i've seen in my local area so stock availability is good and stock quality the quality is there uh, certainly on the clothing from what i've seen but unfortunately the p high prices on the clothing do drag that down a bit because we obviously if the prices are high even though the stock quality is high and we might be able to get more for it we still can't really buy them anyway because there's not a much of a margin in it so based on all that you know prices of the hard goods being pretty decent and obviously i'm mainly buying hard goods i'm not really looking at the clothing but also going on a holistic view looking at the clothing prices of the clothing and looking at the stock quality overall 
I'm actually going to go with good for cancer research. I was I was thinking between me and good. So I'm going to go good. Some people will contest that. Others might say, oh, actually, for me, it's actually more god tier. But for me, cancer research, good. And that's about it. Now, next, Mind UK, a charity shop that I've probably only been in ever about once. So really, this should go in the middle tier straight away, and that's probably what I'm going to put it at. But the one time I did go in, the pricing seemed fair. Uh, I, d I can't really comment on the stock availability or the stock quality, because I can't really judge from just one experience. Um, but I thought I would include it because it is one of the chains, the charity chains in the UK. So obviously, uh, you know, I wanted to include it on this list. But for me personally, because I've not had as much experience with it, it goes really straight in that middle tier. When I have more experience with it, it might go up to the good tier, it might go down to the bad tier, but that is my positioning for Mind UK. So, uh, next, this little image down here that's just a random image of a charity shop, this represents local independent charity shops. Now, these are the best charity shops, in my opinion. So, we have pricing is normally on point. Yes, some of the items you might price highly on, but that's generally just because other big, larger chains are pricing higher these days and then they just follow suit. But the pricing local independence still, even to this day, seems to be okay uh, and seems to be actually in some circumstances pretty good. The stock availability, again, the turnaround is normally there in these local independents. Uh, they seem to have a pretty good turnaround. Of course, with all charity shops, there's little bits and bobs that you see in there um, for weeks upon weeks upon weeks. But overall, in the entire shop, when I've been into these local independents, uh, the ones that I'm thinking of are the ones in a uh, town near me called Macclesfield. Uh, they've got good local independents, and their turnaround seems to be pretty decent, to be honest. And then stock quality, I would say in the local independents, the stock quality might be a little bit lower, based on my experience, but... Then again, I have had experiences in local independence where I've found some good quality stuff. So I would say on stock quality, for me, that's maybe average, maybe just maybe just a little bit above average. But, you know, it's around that sort of thing. But I'm going to actually put local independence in the god tier, mainly for pricing and mainly for stock availability. Um, and that is kind of uh, all in the hands of a manager really. The managers of these local independents seem to know what they're doing for the most part. They price low so that people can get, get the items and they turn it over quickly and put fresh stock out. So definitely for those two in particular, I am gonna go with the God tier for local independents. Now, Marie Curie, again, it's a charity shop that I have only really experienced once or twice. From what I can remember, the uh, pricing was pretty decent. There was nothing wrong with the price from the one or two times I've experienced it. The stock availability, as I say, I can't really comment because I've only had one or two experiences with it. And the stock quality, again, I think from the experience I had was okay, but it's not really enough of an experience to, to judge properly on that. So that is going in the middle tier, the mid tier, and uh, if I have another experience with that, it may go into the bad or up to the good, or possibly even up to the god tier, but I can't really see Marie Curie going up right to the god tier. So, headway. This is one that I can pretty much firmly put in the bad tier. The experiences that I've had with the pricing has been pretty poor. Uh, they always seem to price. I've got a few headways around in my local area, you know, a few towns. I don't know whether it's a, an actual uh, nationwide chain. Maybe it is, um, but I thought I would put it in here as a, you know, as a, an individual kind of charity shop to look at um, because I think there are a fair few around. Um, so yeah, essentially pricing not very good. They seem to price pretty high in the ones I've been at. Stock quality fairly low in headway actually from my own experiences. There's the odd good item, don't get me wrong, but because they price so high, you can't buy it anyway. So stock uh, stock um, quality is fairly low and stock availability again is low. The stock availability at headway is, it, it they, they don't turn it over hardly ever, you know, there's the same things that I go into the shops. Whenever I go into the shops, it's the same stuff over and over again. And yeah, they might change a few bits and bobs here and there and when you go 
go in with a few new items. But there's not that much, you know, there's not that much new. So we're going to put Headway, or I'm going to put Headway, in the bad tier, unfortunately. So, Salvation Army. Again, another one. I've had a few more experiences with than Mind UK and Marie Curie. So I possibly could comment more on this one. Um... I think, for, for be, to be honest, the uh, pricing is okay. There's one of the Salvation Armies that I've been in where the pricing is a little bit high, but again, a lot of charity shops, in every charity shop these days, you get a little bit of high pricing. From what I've noticed with Salvation Army, it's only here and there that the pricing is, is a little bit high. Um, the stock quality is okay. It's on that kind of average level. Uh, you know, there's a few decent items in there, but for me personally, it's fairly average. Um, and then, obviously, the stock availability or the stock quality, whichever one I just didn't say then. But um, I think it was the stock availability that I didn't say. So, uh, stock availability is um, fairly, yeah, fairly... I don't know. I'd say average again. I'm trying to think here. I mean, yeah, I'd probably say average. I wouldn't say necessarily really good. I wouldn't necessarily say really, really bad. So I think we're going to put that in the middle tier again. So that mid tier. Now, we're coming to one that I know firmly where this one is going to be planted. British Heart Foundation. For me personally, pricing far too high. You get things in the cabinets that are over eBay prices or just in line with eBay prices. Um, I don't. I rarely pick things up from, from uh, British Heart Foundation, I have to say. In terms of stock availability, the stock availability is okay on the front of the clothing, let's say. There seems to be a bit of turnaround on the clothing. On the hard goods, there is a bit of stock turnaround. There is some movement there. There's definitely some movement there. But it's not really, really good. It's kind of just average or just below average for the stock availability. Um, and yeah, stock quality is good, but... It's just the pricing really lets it down. I think really just the pricing alone with British Heart Foundation and that slightly lower um, level of stock availability. I mean, the stock quality is good, but that doesn't account because the pricing is high and because, you know, the stock availability it is, it's average. They pull it down. They pull down the fact that the stock quality is good because we can't really buy it anyway. So, uh, because of the prices. So, I'm actually going to firmly go with British Heart Foundation as badder. The ta the, and yes, I did actually make up these names myself. These aren't the preset names. You can fill them in. So, I made God, Good, Mitt, Bad and Badder. I just thought badder sounded funny. So, yeah, I, was, I just put that. Anyway, so, cancel research, badder, unfortunately. Bernardo is a charity shop that I hold close to my heart because um, a few of the managers that I've known there over the years have held stuff back for me and things like that. So I have a, I have a very, very large sub subjective bias towards Bernardo's uh, and other people might actually put it in a different tier than I'm going to. Now, I've actually got two different Bernardo's on this list. I've got Bernardo's Donation Centres, which is this image here, and I've got Bernardo's just the normal kind of stores that you go in. Now, for normal stores, pricing on the whole is okay. It's not, you know, it's nothing to scream and shout about, really. It's, it's okay. There's some items that they price fairly low. There's other items that they price fairly high. The stock availability, from what I've seen in most Bernardos, the turnaround is okay. The turnaround is actually pretty decent. Um, and then the stock quality, again, it's average to good. You know, it's that average to good sort of range. Now, obviously, with my subjective bias towards Bernardos and the deals that I've got from managers in the past I kind of have to put this in the good tier I'm not going to go god tier I'm actually I'm thinking of going god tier for the Bernardo's donation centers in a second but the actual normal stores I'm going to go good tier so that's what that's what they're going to get uh Sue Ryder now Sue Ryder is one that really I should categorize as bad but I'm thinking of maybe going meh because to be honest yeah in my subjective experience with the Sue Rider in my local town. It's been fairly bad. But then there's other, there's been other instances where I have picked up a few items from there. Uh, the stock availability is okay. Average, again, like for a lot of these charity shops, it's average. The stock quality, I would say personally, is a little bit subpar. Um, and the, uh, what's the other one? The pricing, to be honest, the pricing is fairly okay from my subjective experience. So, 
I'm really torn because I was thinking of bad, then I'm thinking, Meh. I'm going to actually, you know what, I'm going to actually go bad. I'm going to go bad for Sue Ryder. I know people may scream at me saying, no, 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 the Sue Riders in my local towns are actually really good. So, but, you know, it's just subjective experience and uh, and so I'm going to have to put it as bad. It's between bad and, and meh anyway, so, yeah. That's uh, that's that one there. Next, the Bernardo's Donation Centres. Now, these are the ones with the bins outside where it's like, I think it's maybe like four items for one ninety nine or something like that. So for that, that's a good reason to go there. That's good uh, stock pricing. Because they're larger stores, they're donation centres, they have to clear things quickly. So I've found that a lot of the pricing is okay. They do still have cabinets where they price things highly. But for a lot of the stuff, the majority of the items in their stores, in the donation centres, uh, the pricing is good and, it, it, you know, we can pick things up and, and buy and sell them. I've had very, very, very good experiences from Bernardo's donation centres. And so I have to put it in the God tier. Pricing is good. Stock availability. The turnaround is brilliant because it's a donation centre. They just have to keep turning it over. That's all they do there. They just keep turning over stock um and also the stock quality okay yeah the stock quality might bring it down a little bit but the pricing being so low it for a lot of the items actually kind of counteracts that a bit so i'm gonna actually go with bernardo's donation centers god tier g o d tier g o d oxfam this is self-explanatory if i see anyone putting oxfam in the god tier on their list i am gonna go insane so yeah, this is badder. Oxfam is badder. Price, like the one in my local town is shut down now. But the pricing was terrible. The stock availability, the turnaround time, terrible. It's the same stuff in there most of the time. I don't know what it's like for the clothing particularly, because I'm more, more deal with, with hard goods. But for the hard goods, it was just the same stuff mainly. There was a few other bits and bobs in there when you go in, but a lot of it was the same. And then stock quality, yeah, the stock quality is pretty good in for the most part. But the pricing just blows that out of the water and counteracts it completely. So, again, I'm going to have to go for the badder tier on Oxfam. Now, Scope, again, a charity shop that I've not had brilliant experiences with. I know there's people out there who'd probably put this in the good tier. I can see quite a lot of people actually putting this in the good tier. But for me personally, pricing, yeah. Pricing is okay in scope. There's a few things that managers put the prices up a little bit too much on or, or in line with eBay prices and stuff like that. But for the most part, it's okay. You know, it's okay. It's, it, it's uh, You can deal with it. But uh, the stock availability isn't brilliant from what I've seen. There's not a huge turnaround. The clothing, don't get me wrong, on the clothing, the stock availability is okay. They turn the clothing over quite nicely. The hard goods, they don't turn them over as frequently, I don't feel. Um, and then the stock quality, it really isn't that good in scope, the stock quality. There's a few items that you can pick up and think, yeah, yeah, that's decent. But the stock quality on the whole, from my experience, not brilliant. So I'm actually going to put this in the bad tier. So scope is going in the bad tier. And then finally, age UK. Another one that I actually, I quite like this one actually. Uh, I kind of think uh, of Bernardo's in line with Age UK for, for ones I actually uh, like. And obviously, um, Age UK is another shop over the years that I've had managers hold stuff back for me and things like that. So again, there's a bit more of a subjective bias there. But with Age UK, you also get the one pound shops. And especially if you're thinking of the one, with the one pound shops in mind, the pricing is not an issue. That, that's brilliant. The stock quality in the Age UK pound shops isn't brilliant. But saying that, you still sometimes pick up some gems. So I can't argue with it too much. And then the stock availability, especially in the Age UK one pound shops, and even in the border, or just any old Age UK shop, um, they the the stock availability, the stock turnaround is, is good, and there's always plenty of stuff stuff in there. They're always the, the Age UK shops are always packed full of stuff. I find so yeah for for Age UK, I'm not gonna go god tier. I mean, you know, it's it, in it basically for me, it's in between good and god tier. But I'm not gonna go god tier. I'm gonna go just sol solid good tier. It's a solid good charity shop. Um, possibly. 
uh, god tier at some point in the future if I have even better experiences in the future. But yeah, so that's my ranking. If you want to do it, if you're a content creator, if you're a reseller on YouTube, if you want to do this for different charity shops or the same charity shops, if you want to do it in a different way, ranking it for different things, be my my guest. I'll obviously I'd love checking out your videos and your interpretations of it. If you're a US reseller watching this and you want to take this video idea and do it for US thrift start stores go for it because that'd be really, really interesting to see, uh, you know, how you guys in the US rank uh, different thrift stores. Uh, it's simply the, the website is just tiermaker.com and literally just get a load of different images off Google and then save them and then upload them to this list. And it's really as simple as that. I mean, you just type in your little rankings here. It takes a few minutes, obviously, to get the images from Google, but if you want to do it, then yeah, get involved and it'll be interested. And then let me know in the comments down below if you have done a video like this and then I can go over and check it out or if you are planning to do one it's just something a bit different than the usual hauls and sales updates and things like that you know what I'm like I love doing the hauls and sales updates but I do also love doing different things and different content where I can so uh, just to freshen it up because I've been doing this on YouTube for four years or over now and I've done a lot of hauls and sales updates I've done a lot of the normal kind of reselling videos so I like spicing it up a bit these days and and just giving some people a bit of uh, slightly entertaining content with regards to reselling not just the the whole sales updates and the factual stuff but there'll always be kind of a mix on the channel that's what I'm like I go from doing some serious stuff to some more silly stuff that's what it's like you know that's just how i flow really so with that being said thank you very much for watching guys if you haven't already then please do consider subscribing and if you haven't already then please do whack that like button it does help me out a lot and if you have any comments questions or queries if you have any um kind of comments on my list here or if you want to even structure your own list in the comments below maybe you don't have a youtube channel and you don't want to do your own list on a video maybe you can put your list down below in some form or maybe just maybe highlight a couple of the the charity shops that you like the most opposed to the ones that you least uh, like least. Um, so yeah, with that being said, if you want to do that, please feel free in the comments and I will see you in the next one. So see you very soon, guys. <laughs>